Hi, Alex here from Rebelloper.com and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this epic tutorial series on DuckUI. Now what is DuckUI? Well, it is SwiftUI for UIKit. Well, kind of. And today we are going to talk about HUDs. Okay, let's jump right into the code. Great. Uh, in the previous episode, we have uh, demystified alert controller and what it can do, and it is pretty powerful. Go ahead and take a look at it if you haven't already done so. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos. Today, we are going to talk about HUDs. Okay, now, uh, what are HUDs? Aren't uh, alert controllers enough? Well, no, because alert controllers are a one-time notification for the users. Now, HUDs, on the other hand, are a timely uh, notification for our user. Think about uh, downloading an image. Uh, once you start the download, you want to present that to the user. Okay, we are downloading. It takes a few seconds, maybe. Uh, till then, you have that spinner, maybe, and some message. And then, once it is successful, then you just simply uh, say to the user, download successfully completed, and then you take away that HUD. You just make it disappear. So, that's the difference. So, that is why we need HUDs. And uh, I will show this. I have already created this button, and once it is tapped, uh, it is observed and uh, here we are having an alert, but I will just comment it out. We are not going to use the alert controller today. Instead, we are going to use the HUD. So, uh, go ahead and take a look at the other video. If you don't know how this looks like, why it is like so, let me just show you. Here we have our alert, just tapping there. Uh, yeah, these are remains of the previous episodes. Yeah, just go ahead and check them out. Okay, but what we need here is this button, so that's what we will be using. Uh, inside, we have our uh, root view controller that is a parent, uh, a child, sorry, of our D view controller. And if we just jump into the definition, we can see that we do have a HUD here. How convenient! We don't even have to create it. So, uh, yeah, and uh, if you are new to this episode, you just jump right into this video and you don't know what I'm talking about, it is DuckUI. Go ahead and you can simply install it through CocoaPods. Uh, the link for the playlist is down below and it is in the first video. Okay, let's just go back to our HUD. Okay, now that we do have a HUD in our DView controller, we can simply and it is already created, let's just use that. And it is pretty straightforward. So we just want to type in HUD with a capital H. Let me just scroll that up so you can see. And if you tap a dot there, you can see that we have create and handle. We already have created. I do have that create open. Uh, if you don't want to use the view controller, you just want to use simple UI view controller, then you have to create it just like you saw earlier. Let Hot equals hot dot create. Simple as that. So once it has been created, of course now it is, we can handle it. Okay, now we are going to handle what kind of hot? The hot that we have created. Because maybe you want to have more huts and uh, yeah, you just choose the one you want to have. And uh, it requires self peer because we are inside uh, our observer here. So that's adding yourself you most probably will not need to add their self. Okay, so here we have our HUD info and this is where the basically the mag magic happens. So let's just type in here HUD info, add a parenthesis there. And you basically have this option, the, the only one. We have a type, text and detail text. Now, uh, let's just talk about the type because text is basically the title and the detail text is the message. That is just it. So let's talk about the hot type. If you add in a dot here, you can see that we have close, error, none, show, success, and update. So uh, let's just uh, learn these. So the first 
is show. That's what you want to do first. You want to show this HUD. Then, if you want to update it, let's say you have another message, maybe the image has been downloaded, but you are still making some other processes, then you want to change the text or the detailed text, and then you will call update. We will call that in just a moment. Uh, once we ha do have an error, then we just call error with message and it will just go away. If it is successful and then it is successful, you just go ahead and it will also disappear. And you can also close it automatically. Uh, that is a hard close. You just don't show anything. You just close it, okay? Um, you might get that text there, but it will not uh, render out. So it just closes the whole HUD altogether. In some cases, you don't want to uh, add any text there. You just close it. Okay, so first of all, and none, that is just for internal purposes. It does nothing. Okay, show. Let's just show this and the text will be, okay, uh, or rather yet, I, I usually do this to working because we are doing something. The detailed text uh, just showed the HUD. So HUD is for heads up display. If you don't already know that, here's a fun fact for you. So I just showed the HUD and let's do that. Let's just build it on, let's show our HUD. Let's see how we are at this stage of development. Okay, I'm just tapping on it. It's working, it says working. We have this spinny thing, just showed the HUD. Pretty straightforward. Nothing happens if I tap anywhere. I cannot uh, tap anywhere, so this is a real awesome, a benefit. I cannot tap anywhere, it's just working. You just don't want the user to navigate away. You don't want to initialize it again by tapping the button. It's just working. Okay, let's just show an update. So pretty straightforward. Again, hud.handle and the self.hud, the same hud, of course. And let's create the HUD info here. And uh, now the type should be update. Okay, text, I should say still working. Or you could just leave it as working. I'm, I, I usually use, leave it as working, but yeah, just uh, for this example. And uh, this update will, let's say, uh, okay, still fetching data. But there's a problem here because uh, we are showing the HUD, but instantly, basically instantly after that, we are updating. So we won't see this. So again, another useful tool from DocUI, Dispatch Queue Helper to the rescue. I have a separate video on that. Basically what it does, it delays something, okay? So the Dispatch Queue Helper, let's delay this uh, by three seconds will be okay. And under the completion, I am just going to add that in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that's basically it. We will be updating our HUD after three seconds. Let's hit Command R and see that it will change the text and the detail text. So tapping, working, just show the HUD after three seconds, still working, still fetching data. Okay, and we could go on and on about this, but let's just um, create another dispatch queue and um, let's check out the success and error cases, okay? Because it's real fun to do that, why not? So dispatch queue helper, and we will delay this by five seconds. So three seconds, still fetching data. After five seconds, we want to, and I will just copy and paste this because yeah, why not? just saving time. So for the update, we are going to use the success. And um, let's add in here success maybe. And um, done fetching data. Okay, let's see how that looks. And this is really, really important for your users to know what is going on inside your app. Working just showed the HUD. Still working, still fetching data, success. And this is just shown for just a couple of seconds, uh, I believe half a second or one second, I don't know, maybe. Uh, let's just check that out. 
I believe it's half a second, never mind. And uh, if you want to simply close it, then just use close. Let's just use that. Close. And hit Command R. And we won't even see this uh, text or detailed text. We could just leave it as is. Show the HUD. Still fetching data. Done. It just disappears. Now let's take a look at the error. Uh, let's uh, change this to error. Uh, could not fetch data. Let's hit Command R or just build with the run button there. Let's see how the error looks. Working? Just be attentive. Still working? Error. Could not fetch data. There we go. But that is kind of going away. So what I usually do is, uh, if I do know that there is an error, I just simply show an alert, a D alert controller. And I uh, have been talking about this in the previous episode, but I basically didn't show you the simplest alert controller, so I will show you that now. So the alert controller show, and I will choose this one with the style of alert title. Uh, let's use the same data here. So error and message could not fetch data. There we go. Let's have that as a string. Okay, and basically that's it. And that will show an alert so the user can read it. But anyway, we need to get rid of our HUD anyway. So working, just show the HUD. Still working, still fetching data. And there we go, we have that. Uh, if you just saw that under there, it's kind of shown just a little bit. But here we have our uh, alert controller. Could not fetch data. But in our case, we just simply should close this, okay? Because we do want to show that error and maybe remove all of this. Yeah, it, it doesn't really make sense to show the HUD for half a second or even one second further, okay? But we still need to close the HUD, okay? Working, still fetching, error, could not fetch data. Okay, and that is it. And of course, we have talked a little bit about alert controller, but hey, that's just how we can handle simply error messages. And uh, if you want to know a little bit about Dispatch Q Helper, go ahead and take a look at the previous video or maybe take a look at the whole playlist. I know it's a lot, but it's super useful to learn DocUI. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Now it is your turn. Go ahead and comment down below. What do you use for displaying a HUD? Do you use a GitHub repository? Do you have your own? Or would you rather like to use HUD from DocUI? I'm really interested in your opinion. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.